Okay? So I want you to think right now. Somebody that impressed you, she impressed me. Somebody that as you listen to their story, it touched you, it touched your heart. I only tell stories that I can learn from, stories that touch my heart, stories that can hold my attention. The joy of being you. So as you look at yourself, look at your goals and dreams, here's one of the things I'm talking about in terms of the joy of being you. Jump out of line. There's a reason we're told, be ye not conformed. Don't con be a conformist. All of us are born unique, but most of us die copies. Jump out of line. Most people go into careers that they see other people do or their parents told them, you ought to do this, or somebody else told them, you ought to do this. Very few people take time to do what's in their heart. So I decided to take a chance on me. I'm saying to you, there's some joy in being you. Speaking is what I do. I enjoy that. It brings me happiness. It brings me joy. Do something that's you that brings you joy. Why? When the tough times come, you won't care. Why? Because you're having a good time. Something that's you, you don't care how long it takes for you to do it. It's something that you enjoy doing so much, you don't get paid to do it, but you do it so well that people will pay you to do it. This is an entrepreneur's economy. They call it the attention economy. The, the, the whole idea of going to college and graduating thousands of dollars in debt and getting a job and working for 40 years and retiring on 40%, which wasn't enough in the first place, that day is gone. There's no such thing as job security. Did you hear that? There's no such thing as job security in case you did not get the memo. You find something that brings you joy. And through optimism, always looking for ways to win, even when you have setbacks, even when you have failures, that because you're doing what brings you joy, you realize it doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down. What matters is how many times you get back up. When you're doing something that brings you joy, you can handle the setbacks with a different kind of mindset versus when you're doing something just to pay the bills, just to pay the rent or keep a roof over your head. No, no. You, you see, life has no duplicate. You want to do something that brings you joy, that you can make money doing it. But you, you, you'll be willing to learn to invest in yourself so that you can take your performance to the next level. And when you jump out of line, make yourself stand out that people will pay you to do that for them. Because they do it very well. They do it better than me. And so therefore, I'm willing to pay for them to do what I can't do. See, it's about increasing your value. You don't get paid by the hour. You get paid for the value you bring to the hour. Now, you can do that from the comfort of your home. Now, you can make money from your home doing something that brings you joy. Making money with something that you've learned, some knowledge that you have gained. And as a result of, of that knowledge, that now you, you can provide a service with that and make some money. The greatest among you will be your servant. And here's the other thing. It took me a minute to make the decision, to make the leap. When you're doing something that's not you, you have to ask yourself the question, what kind of person am I becoming because of this? Because it diminishes your sense of self. You lose your confidence. You no longer believe in you when you live in a life that's not you and you're failing again and again and again. You just say, wait a minute. I'm not as good as I thought I was. But when you're doing something that's you, hey, look at me. Trust me on this. You'll find a way to get better. You do research and development. 
research and develop yourself to stand out in the marketplace. So it's, it's about jumping out of line. All of us are born unique, but most people die copies. When you jump out of line, you rob the cemetery of your gift. You rob the cemetery of your optimism and persistence and perseverance. You rob the cemetery of your leadership, of your invention, of your ideas. It's profitable. It makes you stand out. The joy of being you. Life has no duplicate. This is your only life you got up in here, up in here. Live it on your time. Don't do it doing something else that somebody else wanted you to do. Both hey guys, hope you enjoyed this uplifting video. If you, if you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. It really does help the channel if you haven't already. And subscribe, which I'm sure you already have. But, uh, Hope you liked it guys, happy Monday, I'll see you all in the next video. Remember, only you can make your financial dreams come true. Don't delay, get started today. I'll see you all in the next video.